Okay, we are going to be discussing Mormon excuses, and specifically the ones that Mormons always go to because they cannot think for themselves when cornered, is the website with the black belts and the art of excuse making known as Fair Mormon, who come up with the most ridiculous excuses, the most dumb and retarded outlandish statements that any human being couldn't possibly imagine on their own. You would have to go there and read their garbage to actually believe it. Now, we're going to be talking about Brigham Young's teaching that Adam was our father and our God. The first excuse they'll use, Oh, well, that's not official. Those books aren't part of our standard works. <coughs> Screech on the brakes. Hello, stop, stop. Since when does uh, what book a statement or a teaching is in define truth? Since when is truth defined by what freaking book it's in? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can write my age down. In any book in the world, even on a scrap piece of paper I found in the darn back alley somewhere. And the information on my age is still gonna be correct. <laughs> it doesn't matter what damn book it's in. Either what is written down is the truth, or it's a lie. It's the truth, or it's a lie. I repeat, what's written down in any book is either true or it's a lie. End of discussion. That's all that matters. Brigham Young gave teachings. They were published. Now they're, they are either true or he lied. It doesn't matter what book they're in. <laughs> God doesn't say, Oh, my son, it's okay if you preach all kinds of lies and false doctrine and lead people astray, my son, as long as it's not in a certain particular set of books. <laughs> No! <laughs> God never says anywhere in the Bible that it's okay to lie and teach false doctrine, to teach a false God, to, to teach anything you want to, regardless if it's true or not, as long as it's not in a particular set of freaking books. <laughs> <laughs> Where do Mormons come up with these excuses? They must stay awake all night long to dream up this crap. <laughs> oh, I'll just say, uh, they're not in these certain particular books, so it doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter, you Mormons. Either he preached false doctrine or he gave true doctrine. Mormons claim he's a prophet of God. He hears from the heavens. Well, if he's such a prophet of God, then he was getting his information from God. It doesn't matter what book it's in. Either he taught lies or he taught the truth. That's it. So that excuse is out of the water. Then, fair Mormons on the Adam-God doctrine... When Brigham Young clearly said Adam, and he described which Adam he's talking about. He was very specific. From the garden, the first man who was married to Eve. He was very specific. This Adam is the Adam in Genesis. He was very specific. The sinner, Adam, the first man who fell. He said, he is our father and our God, and the only God with whom we have to do. In other words, the only God we should have anything to do with. And Fair Mormon says, 
Well, we're not sure what he meant by that. I have actually read this on their website, Fair Mormon, as one of their excuses. We're not sure what he meant by that. Oh my God! <laughs> These are grown men saying crap like this. They're not sure what he meant by that. Uh, then they need to go back to school starting with first grade and their main focus should be English. <laughs> well, maybe, just maybe, Brigham Young might have meant, well, uh, blah, 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 what he said! <laughs> Maybe, just maybe. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe he meant what he actually freaking said. Hello. <laughs> what a revelation. Somebody actually meant what they said. <laughs> How fair Mormon gets by in their daily lives is beyond me. A Mormon apologist goes to a restaurant with his wife and he's looking at the menu. It says... Ten dollars for a burger. And he says, I wonder what they mean by this. <laughs> I'm not sure what they meant by this. <laughs> they might have meant something entirely different. Who knows? Maybe they really didn't mean ten dollars. I know it's on the page. It's in print. It's in black and white. But maybe they meant one dollar. Maybe they meant, well, they're actually giving the damn thing away. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not sure what he meant by that. Fair Mormon is purposely playing stupid. They know what he meant by that. This is kindergarten English, for God's sakes. Adam is... Our Father. Is that clear? Does anybody have problems with these freaking words? They're first grade people. Wake up! <laughs> now let's finish. He is our Father and our what? God. And our God. And the only God, with whom we have to do. And he said, pause first before you make light of this teaching. Brigham Young goes on to say, because they will prove your salvation or damn the nation. Here is a prophet of God. Hearing directly from God, they say. Directly in communication with the heavens. Telling the Mormon people, do not make light of these teachings. They will prove your damnation or salvation. In other words, their own prophet of God just said, if you don't believe and accept these teachings, you're damned. Right out of the mouth of a prophet of God. <laughs> If you don't accept them, you're damned. <laughs> Brigham said it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> How clear does somebody have to speak before they understand? Well, we're not sure what he meant by that. He meant what he said. Do they not know who Adam is? Do they not know what the word God means? Do they not know what the word only means? These are simple words, people, in the English language. He is our only God with whom we have to do. To get any more simple than this, you would have to find a mentally retarded person in a group home somewhere to explain it on their level. <laughs> you can't get any more simple than this. It doesn't get any more simple than this, Mormons. 
Adam is our father and our God and the only God with whom we have to do. Close quote. If you don't understand first grade language on a child's level, then you are an idiot. You need to go back to school. The real reason, here's the real reason, ladies and gentlemen, the Mormons don't want to understand. They don't want to admit what he believed, what he taught, what he pushed, what he wrote down and published, because it would make him a false prophet. They do not want to admit it. They're in denial. They will do anything, say anything, other than admit what he actually said in black and white. <laughs> you don't need a high school education to know what this means. <laughs> And yet they want to send you all kinds of fair Mormon links. Oh, there's been scholarly work on this. Tons of scholarly work on this. You need to read these links. We don't need scholars, you dumb Mormons, to explain first grade English. <laughs> we need scholars when something is confusing. And using a lot of symbolism and tough words that maybe a lot of people haven't heard of. This is when scholars come in. This is first grade English, point blank, black and white, on the page, in your face, very simple, first grade level, no problem to it. Adam is our father and our God and the only God with whom we have to do. And he said, Jesus Christ is the son of Adam. He's Adam's son. You don't need web links to explain this to you. <laughs> when I go on a vacation and I see a speed limit sign that says, 45 speed limit. Am I going to call Fair Mormon and say, oh, could you explain this to me? This is really easy uh, uh language I'm seeing here, but it might mean something entirely different. It says speed limit 45, but I'm not sure. So I need you to do some scholarly work to explain this to me. We're all stupid. Nobody knows easy first grade language. Nobody understands it. Nobody knows it. We're all a bunch of retards. We need fair Mormon to explain every sentence we see. Because nothing ever means what it says in black and white. It means something entirely different. Just because you see the words, the pizza's hot, it actually means there is no pizza. <laughs> nothing is as it seems. We don't know anything. In order to know what we're actually reading, we need Fair Mormon to explain things to us. We need tons of links sent our way so we can read for hours on end to understand simple, plain English. <laughs> Oh, bullshit.